Yipes, I fell behind in the guitar aerobics book by Troy Nelson, but I'm going to try to write that. It, that's the book we're working out of. It's just great. I'm looking at week 18 on page 40, exercise number 122. This is uh, string bending. This is a really cool looking exercise. We're going to go... I'm just reading that. So it's an A chord with your index finger laying flat at the second fret. Make sure not to touch the A string with your index finger. Let that be open. All right. So we're going to bend. It's going to be that index staying there. Middle finger will hit third fret on the uh, fifth and sixth strings and we're going to bend a little bit like this yeah and it's like a half step here and a quarter step here so i'm gonna go and then i finish with a which is a whole step bend I'm taking a G, bending it up to the sound of an A, like this, and putting some shake on it. All right, and we're counting one, and two, and uh, three, and four. One, and two, and three, four. And one, all right, here we go. Double check. Cool. Let's do two in one video. So I'll get caught up a little bit. All right. I'm going to move on to number 123. Okay. What do we got here? Ooh, good shape. are arpeggios. That's A minor. It's a bright amp, isn't it? I totally use this in the Surf Zombies way too much. I love this shape. That's an A minor arpeggio, which is A, C, and E notes. And uh, it's a really cool shape. It's a 12, 10, 9, 10, 8, 12, 12, 8, 10, 9, 10, 12. Then we go to a C major chord, which is up here at 15. C major is C, E, G. Notes. Double check. Then we got a uh, G major chord, which is down here. Oops. Then an E minor chord. Well, G major was G, B, and D notes. E minor is E, G, and B notes. Oops, what do we got? <laughs> That's shaped just like the A minor. So you've got two minors and two majors. Let's check that again. So this, you're just going to have to read it. And they are eighth note triplets. So we're on page 41, exercise 123 of guitar aerobics. I'm going to try to do them as a one, two, three feel, like a triplet.
so Pinky really takes a leadership role in this. A lot of times we're using index middle ring for most everything, but Pinky's got to step it up and be part of the team. Yeah, that, that's cool. This is easy to memorize. You can do this. It might seem a little crazy. You know, when I looked at it, I was like, holy smokes, what do we got here? But then, man, these shapes are so common and uh, so useful. They sound great. So the chords are A minor, C, G, D, or E minor. Yeah. Work on that, and I'll try to get caught up with the other things, and uh, I shall not fall behind again.